Hey guys, welcome to BTEC. I'm Basil and this is the BlackBerry Priv. We have been itching to get our mitts on one of these for ages. It's the first BlackBerry device running Android. In addition, it's a slide out device with a Quad HD display, AMOLED nonetheless, and you've also got a um, trackpad slash keyboard combo, as you can see, which is controlling my navigation across the user interface. Had it for 24 hours. This is my 24 hour impression review type thing. Before I jump into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's how you're going to stay on top of everything that we do. And of course, head over it's btech.com. We partnered up with Nomo. So click that plus symbol, type forward slash plus, and you can get 15% off all Nomo products in time for Christmas. Back to the BlackBerry Priv. Home screens, it runs Android. There's no pinch, but you can long press to get an overview of your home screens and customize things nicely. It really, really is Android, I promise you. I had to run through the whole UI before my disbelief uh, was offset. Um, since I first heard this would be running Android, I thought BlackBerry would skin the life out of it. But as it actually happens, BlackBerry has made some really meaningful enhancements to the user interface, much, much more so than most manufacturers out there, which is, well, it's commendable. But before I jump into the UI, I'm gonna talk you around the design. This is a slider device. It's 2015 slash 2016. Would I really recommend a device with moving parts in this day and age? Oh, I don't really know and I'm eking towards the no as far as that question goes. You can see the screen slides out to reveal a QWERTY keyboard. It isn't a particularly good QWERTY keyboard. I have big hands. This is a relatively big phone, 5.4 inches of display, and the keyboard is just too small and cramped for my sizable thumbs to contend with. Um, in the same breath, using it as a trackpad as well uh, is also pretty, um, uh, it's pretty haphazard. It's not as responsive as the Passport. I loved the Passport. The Passport was wider. The trackpad was better. Um, this is, well, it kind of feels like it's just been shoehorned in as far as the design goes. And in turn, were this not a slide out, even if this was literally the phone, there is a very good chance that I might have actually preferred it. But there are some elements around the key keyboard that are good. For example, you can just start typing and that will either use Google now to do a search across all of the Google services, or you can enact a device search as found on BlackBerry OS 10. There is also an awesome digital keyboard or on-screen keyboard, which I actually really like. It hasn't had a unanimously good reception, but I very, very much like it once you get your head around it. Right, design elements, 5.4 inch quad HD display, very nice and sharp. You've got a mono speaker below the display. We did a speaker comparison and it isn't as loud as things like the Nexus 6P, but it is around on par with the Xperia Z5 Premium um, and the HTC One M9 in terms of volume quality, even if it isn't super amazing in terms of audio quality. That sliding mechanism, as you can see, is making me want to slide it up and down non-stop. As a result, I don't have the hugest amount of confidence in the um, sliding mechanism's longevity. Also, our device, this is one we bought, by the way, this isn't a review sample, so it hasn't seen anyone else. It kind of creaks on the side a little bit. You can't see it, you won't be able to hear it, but boy, I can feel it, and that sets in a a degree of worry. Um, I really, really do like the feel in hand in a lot of respects So It doesn't feel thick enough, it doesn't feel weighty enough to be a slider device. BlackBerry has really, really managed to get some very, very slim parts on this thing. How thick is it? It's 9.4 millimeters thin and it weighs 192 grams, so it isn't all that heavy. Um, you can see on the right hand side, you've got volume buttons and you've also got a kind of weird button here that um, acts as a shortcut to your um, settings in terms of notifications. Um, I don't feel there's a necessary need for that button. Um, down at the base, you can see you've got a 3.5 mil headphone jack and a micro USB connector. Left hand side is a power button. Up at the top is a SIM card slot. Look how thin that is, that's crazy. That's a SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. Um, around the back is that 18 megapixel rear facing camera with dual flash, one warm, one cool. We've taken a few pictures on this. The picture results do look pretty decent. Um, not mind blowing, not terrible by any means. The back is this kind of like weird Kevlar type um, material, uh, very reminiscent of the BlackBerry Q10. Um, and a few reviewers said it's super slippery. Well, they have very, very different hands to me because this ain't going 
anywhere, he says now. Uh, check back for the full review and I may well have dropped it. Hope not though, because I do like this thing and I do want to use it more to really get my head around what BlackBerry is doing. Um, I am a BlackBerry fan in a lot of respects. I really admired the innovation around the BlackBerry OS 10. Android is an awesome operating system in terms of app supports and that's what BlackBerry needed in OS X and they were never going to get so this is a smart move. Also the user interface, the changes that they made are really really nice and considered like I was saying so um, you do have your home screens, you can long press to get an overview of them. In addition here is where you can customize your wallpaper widgets, icon packs as well out of the box which is fun so you don't need to install Nova Launcher or something to get alternate icon packs. You can also jump into settings where you can set your wallpaper um, typing action, you can uh, Start searching when you type on your home screen, but that requires a keyboard. Some keyboard shortcuts, pop-up widgets, um, icon packs, uh, which you can access the other way as well, and prompt when turning off applications. The multitasking view on here is actually very neat because you can see it lays everything um, in uh, the same kind of style as it did BlackBerry 10, um, and I really, really like that. It's a uh, better and more enjoyable kind of viewing experience, in my opinion, than the card system. Um, so jumping out of that, um, I haven't noticed any slowdown across the user interface generally. So the 808 chipset inside with a three gig of RAM powers everything along relatively nicely. Although, as you can see, while I have installed a lot of applications on here, I haven't used it extensively. So I look forward to doing so. Um, and getting all my logins in, um, sorted out in terms of social media um, and loads of pictures taken, loads of benchmarks done so we can really gauge exactly how it stacks up. Right. And you can see the events are very, very clear. The notifications are very, very familiar. You do have an icon um, series below the main quick toggles, and this allows you to see exactly where your notifications are coming from. You can also quickly access your settings, and the settings looks very, very stock. There is swipe shortcuts option, um, and swipe shortcuts refers to when you long press, you can either go straight into messages, BlackBerry search, or Google search, which I really like the option to calibrate. Um, as I swipe through, you can see there are some additional advanced interactions. So for example, I can flip to mute, flip to save power, and hold it to stay awake. Um, if I was to jump out of that, there are not really too many crazy settings otherwise. I, like I was saying earlier, really respect BlackBerry for having made everything very, very uh, stock with their own customizations on here. Those customizations do include elements like that swipe in from the right hand side to quickly access your messages, your personal profile, your to-do list, etc. Um, there is a BlackBerry hub of sorts here. Um, and BlackBerry has also installed a ton of its own applications. So you've got BlackBerry Messenger, Detect by BlackBerry, which is telling you exactly how secure your device is by its standards. And to be honest, that's kind of a gimmick for me personally, but it might actually be useful um, for um, organizations, etc., um, to just get a very, very quick snapshot view of how their devices are doing. You can also quickly add notes, add notes, add tasks, add contacts, add events, compose emails directly from shortcuts on your home screen, which is good. Interesting one, you can also check your battery level uh, directly from a shortcut as well. Um, so BlackBerry seems to have taken the best of Android and taken the kind of attitude that you can get these cool shortcuts on here, but people probably aren't using them. So let's create them, let's deploy them from the offset. If people want to get rid of them, they can very easily do so. But if people want to leave them, then that makes perfect sense. So if I jump into the widgets menu, you can see the widgets menu is actually to the left of the applications tray and to the right of that is the shortcuts menu. Um, so that's a really, really nice way of getting all of these quick toggles that people probably never really use in front of people so they can deploy them as and when. And that's the user interface. I really, really like it from the offset. I haven't used it enough to actually call it practical um, and tell you whether or not it would be useful in day to day. I'm just talking about what I think after 24 hours. What I also think is the battery is pretty impressive, not mind blowing. It's a 3410 milliamp cell. Um, like I said, that's a Quad HD display, Snapdragon 808 processor, three gig of RAM, Android 5.1.1. Um, so that kind of capacity for that kind of screen size is 
definitely, definitely respectable. Um, I cannot wait to use this more. I'm absolutely torn at the moment because I've got the Z5 Premium in and I've got the Priv. I've used the Z5 Premium now for 48 hours, the Priv for 24. The Z5 Premium delivers an experience that I've seen very, very, very often in terms of, it's a Sony device that acts like a Sony device and it performs well like a Sony device. So I want to use it because I'm reviewing it, but this, this is something different. Even if I don't love the keyboard, I really, really would rather be using this right now. And I never thought I'd say that because I was super stoked as soon as the premium landed. Hopefully that all makes sense and you found this insight useful into my first 24 hours with the BlackBerry Priv. There you go, said I wouldn't drop it, kind of just did. If you did like it, then click that thumbs up button. And if you like BTEC, subscribe. That's how you will be staying on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching.